I wanted to do it for myself and to experience it myself so um, I can kind of make my own decisions about pharmaceutical trials, which ultimately was a very positive one. I studied biomed, um, so for me it was really interesting being able to be involved in a trial instead of just kind of writing about it on a piece of paper. This trial has been going on for a little while now, so all the way back to my first visit they explained to me very clearly about what the aim was for this study, what we're going to be doing. So it's for a vaccine for whooping cough, um, which is more kind of wide known within like children's medicine. So we usually think of children getting ill from it, but um, we do need some more widespread immunisation. So they're testing a new vaccine um, on healthy adults to kind of do a roll out to that age group because we are seeing like an increased amount of people getting ill from it. I found out about it through social media. Um, I think I saw it advertised and then I clicked onto the link and then I um, got to read about more information. I would come down to this hospital, which is the research hub. Um, and then I was given the vaccine about five weeks before going into the challenge phase. And the challenge phase was where we went to a hotel um, and we were actually given the live version of the bacteria whooping cough. Um, but it was given in such a low concentration that you don't actually get any side effects. Um, but it does give you kind of like a biochemical um, immune reaction which the doctors can study um, so while you do actually have whooping cough and it's an active disease um, it doesn't feel like it I wasn't ill once I didn't don't even think I had a temperature when we went into the challenge phase which was 19 nights of quarantine um, we were given two two-hour periods to leave the hotel a day um, which is two hours in the morning two hours in the afternoon and you can kind of choose to spend that how you like i met up with a friend in the park social distancing we did have to wear masks obviously where we have been given um, hooping cough um, all our meals were catered for lunch and dinner in the first week it was just general observation so in the morning and the afternoon nurses would check blood pressure um, heartbeat i think that kind of stuff and then in the second week we had bloods taken nasal swabs nasal pharyngeal swabs i think it's called um, and that's kind of where the testing ramped up a little bit but it was all very very painless it was actually my first ever study so I didn't really know what to expect going in um, but I didn't realise just how lovely all the staff would be and how um, how grateful I guess I'd be for my time and like my energy throughout the, um, the study it was really nice to feel very valued. Definitely to formulate your own opinions going into it don't let kind of other people tell you what to expect going into it. I think do your education, um, do your research on it, speak to as much people within the, the trial as you can because everyone just wants to help and give you that information but at the same time it's, it's not pressuring you into doing it or kind of coercing you. It's just giving you as much information as they can to make you make that informed decision.